thinks that experiments can only be done in school labs. Well, don't you think so? Well, I don't think so. Hi, I'm Jewel. I'm Regina. Today, Today we're going to show you five different types of experiments. We, we hope you enjoy. Want to see this egg bounce? Well, with this egg, some white vinegar and a beaker, you can make your own bouncy egg. First, put this raw egg into a beaker. Then, take your vinegar and pour it into the beaker. Make sure to cover the egg. And leave it for 24 hours. Have you ever wondered how this could happen? Well, this is because even though the shell is gone, the membrane from inside the shell is still holding the egg together. Just to prove this isn't a trick, if you drop the egg from high enough, it will break. So this is the membrane that is holding the egg together. Don't you mean milk rainbow pool? All you need is milk, some food coloring, a plate, Q-tips, and dish soap. Now first pour your milk onto the plate. Take your Q-tip, dip it in dish soap, and watch the magic. Now, do you know why this happens? Oh well, because milk has a high surface tension so that the food coloring stays in place. And when the soap is dipped into the milk, so destroys the surface tension around the soap. Have you ever seen water float? Here we have it's a pan being heated for one minute. As you can see, the water evaporates when we pour the water into the pan. Now we leave it for two more minutes. See, the water is now floating because this is known as the Leyden frost effect. When the droplets contacts with the highly heated pan and upon contact, the bottom of the droplet instantly evaporates, which form a protective layer under the droplet, allowing it to skip across the pan.
you might have done experiments with well-labeled acids and bases. But have you ever wondered whether a certain food or chemical in your house is an acid or a base? You can find out by using a red cabbage indicator. Here is a pH chart. As you can see, acids turn red cabbage juice into shades of pink and red, whereas alkalis turn red cabbage juice into shades of blue and green. Here we have some lemon juice and an all-purpose cleaner. Let's see what happens when you add lemon juice into the red cabbage juice. Now why does this happen? This happens because by because this red cabbage contains a pigment molecule known as flavin and very acidic turns this mole this pigment shades of red while whereas alkali turns this pigment blue shades of blue. Have you guys ever seen a toothpaste the size of a measuring cylinder? Well now I'm going to show you what is called the elephant's toothpaste. All you need is potassium iodide, hydrogen parasite, and some diesel. Thanks for watching! Wanna support us? Press the like button below!